it's Matt here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about sabotage. It's real, folks. Sellers will sabotage their sales sometimes. Whether you're selling in Plano, one of the surrounding communities, these are mistakes I've seen sellers make. The first is they don't know the local market, or they choose an agent that's not experienced in their local market. Probably even a worse mistake. But the local market matters because even though the trends for a city affect everybody, what's going on in your neighborhood and even subdivision can be different. And that's important when it comes to pricing your home. If you price that home too high, it could sit for a while. If you price it too low, you could be leaving money on the table and creating the same multiple offer situation that's difficult to navigate. So it's important to actually know what's going on, not just in your city, but in your neighborhood, because there are variables that cause these to be different. So the second way that a seller may sabotage their sale is they know there are things about their house that need to be fixed in terms of repairs and they avoid them or try to hide them. And they're gonna come out on the inspection. So it would be way better to address them or at least call them out to buyers in advance of the inspection. So best case, fix it, and then it's not an issue. Next best case, disclose it and make buyers aware of it. On the same time, if you are making repairs and making an updates to your home, keep a record of it and so you have that available to present the buyer. The third thing is clutter. I know, clutter sneaks into our life and piles up sometimes literally. We don't want that when you're selling your house because buyers can't see the house and they're distracted by it. So find a way to store it or throw it away. You're moving anyways. So the fourth thing I wanna to talk to you about is photography. What a critically important part of your home sale. First of all, you wanna have professional photography. There are so many people that say, we'll just take photos of our house on our iPhone. And sure, the iPhone is a pretty good camera, but a professional is gonna do so much better and they're gonna have the knowledge and experience to really capture the unique components of your house. I really believe photography is the responsibility of the agent to, to find the best photographer, but then the seller has the part of getting their home prepared for that photography. And we're gonna coach you and tell you what you need to do and so we can have it looking the best because photography is where buyers get the first impression. And without that first good impression, they're not gonna even consider your house as an option. Now, part number five is, hey, the marketing strategy's gotta be great. We've gotta get that photography out to a lot of people. And so again, this is a little bit of an agent responsibility, but you, Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller, are hiring that agent. So make sure they have a really comprehensive marketing plan. Exposure is the name of the game. You wanna get that property exposed to as many buyers as possible, and also the buyers who are right for your property, because they're gonna value it the most and pay you the most. So mistake number six, and that would be trying to sell the home on your own or for sale by owner. It sounds tempting. We've been in a market here in DFW for quite some time where it's been a seller's market and you think, I'll just put a sign in the yard and it will sell. Maybe it will sell. They're unlikely to get the highest value. There are people right now in the market that are getting seven, eight, nine, fifteen percent above their asking price, and they're getting it because they have an agent that's done the great photography, they've done great marketing, and they know how to navigate the transaction. I personally think the biggest risk of selling the house on your own is you don't really know how to navigate the transaction. I know I've represented buyers where the seller was representing themselves, and we had a huge information advantage above that seller. And personally, I think the buyers got a phenomenal deal on their house and we got more than we would normally get in terms of repairs because they just, the seller didn't know or didn't have that experience. There's a lot of risk involved as a seller too. If you don't fill out the forms correctly or wrongly disclose things, you could become liable for that. So you're not only probably leaving money on the table, you're also exposing some risk and certainly creating a lot of stress for yourself trying to manage it on your own. So work with a professional to sell your house. And then the last thing I wanna say, the seventh way that I see people sabotage is they get a little bit unrealistic. And that can start at the beginning when it comes to price, they price it way too high and then scratch their head when they're not getting offers. And it can show up later in the transaction where the buyer comes to them with a reasonable repair request and they try to deny it and chase a buyer away. Or maybe even the house doesn't appraise and then they don't wanna negotiate around price and they lose their buyer and they're stuck starting all over again. So I hate it when sellers get a little wrapped up over a $500 buyer request. Why are you gonna throw away a $500,000 sale over a $500 request? So I think it's important to work with somebody who can put that in perspective and step back and make sure that you're being reasonable as a seller about the transaction and about your expectations for the sale of your home. So those are some of the seven ways that sellers, homeowners may sabotage the sale of their home. Some of them you make before you even get started. 
But the good news is you can control all of these. Start by doing a little bit of prep in advance of selling your home, and then reach out to work with a professional. Our team loves helping home sellers navigate this journey with ease and with fun and move on to the next chapter. Take care, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And in the meantime, make sure to check out some of our other videos featured on our channel.